Resident Evil 5 entails some of the most terrifying creatures out of the entire Resident Evil series. From disturbing human mutations to nightmarish insectoids, these creatures will undoubtedly leave a chill down your spine. So here is the lore of every single Resident Evil 5 enemy. At the heart of Resident Evil 5's narrative lies the town Majini, the infected inhabitants of the Kijuju Zone. Unlike the mindless zombies of previous entries in the series, the town Majini retain their cognitive abilities, allowing them to wield weapons, strategize, and communicate with one another to coordinate attacks against the player. Their appearance remains largely human, dressed in the everyday attire of Kijuju residents, which is now torn, dirtied, and bloodied. The attention to detail in their animations and vocalizations adds to the unsettling atmosphere, with their aggressive posture postures and haunting cries echoing through the streets of the town. The transformation of Kijuju's residents into the town Majini is due to the virus of Resident Evil 5 known as the Ouroboros virus, a bioengineered threat developed by Albert Wesker and the Tricell Corporation. Unlike previous viruses in the series, which often resulted in loss of intelligence and primal behavior, Ouroboros grants its host increased aggression while retaining their ability to perform complex tasks. This virus caused the Majini to act as both the foot soldiers in Wesker's quest for global domination and the living embodiment of the virus's potential for chaos. The creation and deployment of the Ouroboros virus into Kijuju signified a terrifying advancement in bioweapons technology, with the town Majini serving as the first line of defense against anyone who threatens Wesker's plans. Their infection process suggests a deliberate and calculated attempt to test the virus's effectiveness in a controlled environment, with the ultimate goal of refining a weapon capable of reshaping the world order according to Wesker's vision. The town Majini are not merely enemies to overcome, they are tragic figures, once ordinary people whose lives were tragically changed by forces beyond their comprehension. The Executioner Majini emerges as one of the most daunting foes in Resident Evil 5, a chilling enemy wielding a massive axe that can crush bones and barriers alike. His design is inspired by the image of an executioner, complete with a hood and an apron reminiscent of a butcher, soaked in the blood of his victims. This imposing figure is not just a physical threat but a psychological one, instilling fear with every step he takes towards the player. Originally a member of the Kijuju populace, this Majini was transformed into the Executioner through exposure to the Ouroboros virus which dramatically enhanced his physical size and strength. Due to his imposing physique, the virus further amplified this trait, turning him into a symbol of fear and control within the infected community. His primal function is to enforce the Majini, dealing with any dissent or resistance with brutal efficiency. Within the infected hordes of Resident Evil 5, the Cephalo stands out for its grotesque transformation and deadly combat abilities. Emerging from the bodies of certain Majini under duress, this mutation is marked by a horrifying mass of tentacles that replace the host's head, capable of lethal strikes and grappling maneuvers. This enemy type forces players to adapt their tactics, emphasizing precision and timing to deal with the threat it poses. The Cephalo mutation results from the Ouroboros virus's interaction with the host's biology under specific conditions, such as severe injury or extreme stress. This transformation is a survival mechanism, revealing the adaptive and resilient aspects of the virus. The cephalo represents the virus's capability to push the infected host's body beyond natural limits, creating forms designed for efficiency in combat and terror. The Kai PPO adds a new dimension to the threats faced by Chris Redfield and Sheva Alomar. Emerging from the bodies of infected hosts, these creatures resemble sinister, mutated insects with elongated bodies and sharp, blade-like appendages for wings. Their design is a stark departure from the ground-based enemies encountered throughout the game, forcing players to shift their focus skyward and contend with the threats from all directions. The creature's ability to swarm and attack in groups makes them capable of overwhelming the unprepared with their sudden assaults. These creatures are a result of the type 2 plaga parasite reaching a mature stage within the infected host, allowing it to spawn these flying terrors. They were created by Tricell to market the sales of BOWs to bioterrorists, with their flight capabilities being of interest. The big man Majini in Resident Evil 5 stands out for its imposing nature and brute strength, presenting quite the challenge to players navigating the hostile environments of Kijuju. Distinguished by their larger build compared to standard Majini, these enemies command presence on the battlefield, wielding heavy weapons or using their sheer physical power to crush opposition. Their design is a blend of intimidation and resilience, with visual cues like muscular physiques and minimal armor, emphasizing their role as frontline enforcers for the Ouroboros infected hordes. The big man Majini are 
another result of selective infection with the Plaga parasite, targeting individuals of significant physical strength and size for transformation into these juggernauts. This process is indicative of the strategic use of the parasite by entities like the Tricell Corporation and Albert Wesker, aiming to create a diversified army capable of overwhelming resistance through both numbers and sheer force. The existence of the big man Magini showcases the terrifying efficiency of the Plaga parasite in enhancing natural human abilities for malevolent purposes. The Chainsaw Magini are among the most feared enemies encountered in the game. These enemies are easily recognizable by their blood-soaked genes and the menacing roar of their chainsaws. Their design taps into a primal fear, combining the threat of relentless pursuit with the power to kill instantly. The chainsaw, an icon of horror, symbolizes the raw, unbridled violence that the Ouroboros virus can unleash. The visual terror is heightened by their masks, which depersonalize them and transform them into embodiments of pure malice. The Chainsaw Magini were once part of the local populace in Kijuju, their transformation brought on by the infection with the Ouroboros virus. They were by far one of the most powerful type of Magini, which appeared during the Las Plagas outbreak in Kijuju. Very similar to the Chainsaw Man encountered by Leon Kennedy, they were extremely resistant to damage and were considered successful adoptions of the Plaga Parasite. The Adjul and Resident Evil 5 were canines parasited by the Type 2 Plaga Parasite. Their design retains the basic canine form, but is significantly altered to evoke horror and revulsion. Their bodies are marked by grotesque mutations, including exaggerated jaws filled with razor-sharp teeth in a more aggressive posture. The Adjul's heightened agility and pack-hunting behavior make them dangerous opponents, capable of quickly overwhelming the unwary. The transformation of these once docile animals into monstrous fiends started when the infection began to spread rapidly among the canine population, turning them into unwritten extensions of the virus's will, used to guard infected areas and attack anyone perceived as a threat. The Popokari Mu, a monstrous bat slash insect hybrid, represents one of the more unique and terrifying challenges in Resident Evil 5. This creature's design combines elements of a giant bat with those of a prehistoric insect, creating a flying predator that is not only fast, but also incredibly resilient. Its large, leathery wings, sharp talons, and armored carapace make it an enduring foe in the air and on the ground. The creature's shrieks and the sound of its wings beating add to its intimidating presence, making the encounter a memorable battle. This creature was a prototype BOW originally intended to be sold as part of a weapons deal to an unknown party in Africa by arms dealer Ricardo Irving. Unlike many of the virus's other victims, these creatures do not originate from a human host, but is instead an entirely new creation, brought to life in the labs of those who seek to harness the virus's power for their own ends. The Endesu is a towering behemoth encountered early in the game and acts as quite the challenge. Drawing inspiration from the classic El Gigante from Resident Evil 4, the Endesu is a giant with a massive size, incredible strength, and surprising agility. Its design is a horrifying blend of human and monstrous elements, with thick, leathery skin that can withstand an immense amount of damage and powerful limbs capable of crushing anything in its path. The Endesu's fearsome appearance is accentuated by the numerous Plaga parasites visible on its body hinting at the source of its terrifying transformation and power. Indesu was a series of human bioorganic weapons developed by Tricell, utilizing the mutagenic effects of the Type 2 Plaga. These BOWs were directly inspired by the El Gigante, a similar product created by the Los Luminados. The BOWs are named after a man-eating demon found in Central African folklore. Tricell provided Indesu with spiked bracelets to be used as weapons, and one Indesu in particular is known to have adorned his belt with battlefield trophies, such as skulls and corpses of the recently deceased. Deployed in the desolate plains of Kijuju, these creatures serve as both a guardian of the key areas and a symbol of the raw power wielded by the forces behind the outbreak. The battle against Endesu is a pivotal moment in Resident Evil 5, challenging players to utilize strategy, firepower, and teamwork to overcome the giant. In the diverse enemy roster of Resident Evil 5, the Wetlands Magini introduce players to a new level of challenge and horror as they navigate the marshy terrains of the game. Adapted to their environment, these enemies are distinctively dressed in minimal clothing with tribal adornments, highlighting their origins from the marshlands. Their design incorporates elements that allow them to blend into the watery landscape, making them adept ambush predators. The Wetlands Magini are agile, capable of swift movements both in and out of water, and are armed with traditional weapons, such as spears 
spears and shields, which they use with deadly efficiency. The wetlands Magini are inhabitants of the marsh areas who have fallen victim to the Plaga Parasite, turning them into aggressive and formidable foes. Their transformation is a direct consequence of the spreading influence of the Ouroboros project, showing the virus's adaptability and the tragic reach of the infection beyond urban centers into more isolated communities. Ricardo Irving is a key antagonist in Resident Evil 5, serving as a major pivot point in the game's unfolding narrative of bioterrorism and corruption. Unlike the monstrous entities and infected hosts, Irving presents a more human face to the evils of bioweapon proliferation, embodying the greed and moral bankruptcy driving the crisis. Ricardo Irving's involvement in Resident Evil 5 is tied to his role as a key figure in the bioweapons black market, specifically working under Tricell Corporation. His expertise in arms dealing makes him a valuable asset in distributing the Ouroboros virus and Las Plagas parasites to buyers worldwide, furthering the agendas of those who seek to use bioterrorism as a tool for domination or disruption. Irving's descent into villainy is marked by his willingness to sacrifice anyone in the pursuit of wealth, including experimenting on innocent populations and betraying allies without a second thought. Boy Kichwa, a smaller but menacing enemy in Resident Evil 5, adds a layer of creeping horror and tension to the game's diverse enemy roster. This creature is designed to exploit common arachnophobia, with its skittering movements and ability to ambush players from walls and ceilings. Its dark exoskeleton evoke a primal fear, making encounters with this creature moments of dread and surprise in the game's darker and closed spaces. The creature's origins are the result of the Las Plagas parasite infecting local insect wildlife, specifically spiders, transforming them into larger, more aggressive versions of their natural form. This mutation process exemplifies the wide-reaching impact of the Las Plagas and Ouroboros viruses on the ecosystem, affecting not just human populations but also wildlife, altering the natural balance and turning even the smallest creatures into threats. The giant Magini in Resident Evil 5 present a difficult challenge with their sheer size and strength. These enemies stand out not just for their physical stature, but also for their unique visual design, which combines traditional African warrior attire with grotesque mutations caused by the Las Plagas parasite. Equipped with massive weapons such as clubs or axes, and sometimes adorned with protective armor pieces, the giant Magini embody the pinnacle of physical threat in the game's enemy hierarchy. Their design is a terrifying blend of human and monstrous elements, emphasizing the horror of what the virus can inflict upon the human body. The giant Magini are individuals that were infected with a more potent strain of the Las Plagas parasite, one that dramatically enhances physical growth and aggression. This mutation process is part of the broader scheme by Albert Wesker and the Tricell Corporation to create a diverse army of bioweapons, utilizing the parasite's ability to adapt and mutate its hosts in various ways. The giant Magini serve as elite enforcers within the ranks of the infected, tasked with guarding key areas and eliminating any significant threats in their way. The Liquor Beta marks the return of one of the franchise's most iconic and terrifying enemies. These creatures are characterized by their brain-exposed heads, lack of skin, and a disturbing elongated tongue, designed to instill fear with their every appearance. The Liquor Beta's enhanced agility and deadly precision with its tongue attack make it a significant threat in close and medium-range combat. The design evolution from their predecessors includes more pronounced muscular definition and sharper claws, highlighting their increased lethality in the advanced stage of their mutation. The Liquor Beta Beta represents a further mutation within the liquor species, driven by a continued exposure to the T-virus and possibly influenced by the presence of additional viral strains like Las Plagas or Ouroboros in the environment. This mutation process enhances their existing capabilities, making them stronger, faster, and more resilient to damage. U-8 was a type of bioweapon typically used for base defense, which was developed by Tricell through the use of its genetically altered Plaga parasites. This creature resembles a grotesque fusion of insects and crustacean traits, with a heavily armored exoskeleton that can withstand an immense amount of damage. Its design incorporates multiple limbs, including pincer-like claws and a pair of massive, scythe-like appendages, which it uses with deadly efficiency against Chris and Sheva. The U-8's body structure, featuring exposed glowing points amidst its armor plate, challenges players to identify and exploit these vulnerabilities in the heat of battle. Engineered as a high-level security measure to protect the secrets of the underground laboratory and to eliminate any intruders, the U-8 showcases the advanced stage of bioweapon design and the ambition to create living weapons capable of defending key assets. It was created by splicing together the genes of multiple shelled arthropods and infecting the hybrid with an unknown strain of Plaga. The resulting creature was an incredibly durable opponent and was capable of releasing smaller mosquitoes 
mosquito-like BOWs to attack targets. However, the UH's rapid growth rate typically led to exploitable defects in the armor. Combined with a large amount of resources needed to maintain this, meant that the creatures were typically used for short engagements and guarding facilities. By the time of the Kijuju incident, several of these creatures had been sold by Ricardo Irving to various groups, along with a new model, the U8 Prime, which featured multi-layer armor for even greater defense. Plans had also been drawn up for a lighter, less resource-intensive model, but testing showed the trade-off in attack and defense was too great, and the project was shelved. During the incident in Kijuju, one of the original U8 models was released in the Tricell Africa facility to hunt down and kill Chris Redfield and Sheva Alomar. After its unprotected legs were damaged, the creature collapsed onto the platform, which left it unable to prevent the duo from forcing explosives down its mouth, which destroyed its head and killed it. The base Magini in Resident Evil 5 represent the evolution of the game's primary antagonists as Chris Redfield and Sheva Alomar progress into the later stages of their mission. These enemies are outfitted in military-style gear, including body armor and helmets, distinguishing them from their counterparts encountered earlier. Their design signifies a higher level of organization and threat, equipped with more advanced weaponry such as assault rifles, grenades, and riot shields. The base Magini's tactical gear and coordination in combat reflect their role as Tricell's private security force, trained and mutated to protect the corporation's interests at all costs. The base Magini are the result of Tricell's deliberate infection of their private military contractors with the Las Pagas Parasite, enhancing their physical abilities and ensuring unwavering loyalty to the corporation and its objectives. The Davalia presents one of the most grotesque mutations born from the Las Plagas infection. This enemy type is named after a species of carrion flower found in tropical Africa, reflecting its bizarre and unsettling appearance, which includes a protective shell-like structure that encases its body, reminiscent of a flower's petals closing. This creature's design starkly contrasts with its human host form. Upon mutation, the host's upper body splits open to reveal a monstrous, gaping maw lined with sharp teeth, capable of instantly killing its prey. This transformation is both a defense mechanism and a weapon, making the creature a difficult challenge that requires tactical precision to defeat. The double Leo mutation results from the advanced stages of the Las Plagas Parasite's infection, showcasing the virus's horrifying potential for rapid and lethal evolution within its hosts. This particular form is a testament to the parasite's adaptability, developing a means to protect its vital areas while maximizing its offensive capabilities against threats. The Reapers in Resident Evil 5 present one of the game's most terrifying challenges. These bioorganic weapons feature an insect-like appearance that taps into primal fears of the unknown and the repulsive. Standing taller than a human and possessing a hard exoskeleton, Reapers are equipped with deadly scythe-like arms capable of slicing through flesh and bone with ease. Their most disturbing feature, however, is the vulnerable glowing weak spot located in their abdomen, shielded by their armored body until they prepare to strike. The design of the Reapers embodies the pinnacle of bioweaponry tear, combining elements of stealth, resilience, and lethal force to create a predator that is both haunting and relentless. The origins of these creatures comes from the accidental infection of cockroaches with the Ouroboros virus, resulting in a creature that possesses not only the natural advantages of insects, such as resilience and predatory efficiency, but also enhanced strength and intelligence granted by the parasite. Ouroboros Mkano was a specific manifestation of the virally created Ouroboros creature. Birthed from an anonymous test subject in a tricell laboratory, it was far more dangerous than the Ouroboros test subject, becoming much more aggressive in having two cores instead of one. Its design is a horrifying spectacle of viral mutation, showcasing the Ouroboros virus's capability to reconfigure and augment organic matter into new, deadly forms. This creature's body is a mass of writhing black tentacles, exuding a sense of unstoppable, malevolent life force. Blob was a monster originating from the human prisoners trapped below the Spencer estate. After being infected with an unidentified virus and experimented on by Oswald E. Spencer's butler, they became the guards of the underground, slaughtering anyone that would stand in their way. Albert Wesker stands as the central antagonist in Resident Evil 5. Wesker's journey is marked by betrayal, power, and a relentless pursuit of godhood. Once a member of the STARS unit and later revealed to be a double agent for Umbrella Corporation, Wesker's path is driven by his belief in the survival of the fittest, a philosophy that justifies his actions and ambitions. His transformation, granted by exposure to various viruses and experimental treatments, has endowed him with superhuman strength, speed, and regenerative capabilities, making him nearly invincible. Resident Evil 5 sees Wesker at the height of his power, seeking to deploy the Ouroboros virus globally to initiate a new era of human evolution, with himself as its architect. 
In Resident Evil 5, Joe Valentine, once a protagonist and a beloved character in the series, takes on a dramatically different role, much to the shock and dismay of players. Under the control of Albert Wesker, Joe becomes an enemy to Chris Redfield, her longtime partner and friend. Her design during this phase is strikingly different from her previous appearances, with a skin-tight battle suit and a device attached to her chest that exerts Wesker's control over her. This physical transformation is accompanied by a change in her combat style, showcasing incredible agility, strength, and a proficiency in hand to hand combat that makes her a formidable opponent. The stark contrast between Jill's controlled state and her former self serves to heighten the emotional impact of the encounter, making it one of the game's most memorable moments. Jill's transformation into an enemy in Resident Evil 5 is the result of her apparent sacrifice to save Chris during their confrontation with Wesker, which leads to her being presumed dead. However, it is later revealed that she survived, only to be captured by Wesker, who subjects her to experimentation with the Ouroboros virus. The device attached to her chest is a P30 injector, which administers a drug that makes her susceptible to mind control, effectively turning her into Wesker's puppet. This dark turn in Jill's story is not only a narrative twist, but also a reflection of the series' themes of loss, manipulation, and the fight against overwhelming odds. The Gatling Gun Magini in Resident Evil 5 introduces a high-level threat with its formidable weaponry and armor. This enemy variant stands out due to its heavy-duty armor and the iconic Gatling Gun it wields, capable of unleashing a devastating barrage of bullets. The design of the Gatling Gun Magini is meant to instill a sense of dread, combining the relentless aggression seen in the other Magini with the added threat of overwhelming firepower. The Gatling Gun Magini are the result of the Las Plagas Parasite infecting members of the local militia. These individuals were chosen for their physical prowess and tactical knowledge, making them ideal candidates for conversion into heavy weapon specialists within the ranks of the infected. Ouroboros Airy represents the ultimate manifestation of the Ouroboros virus in Resident Evil 5. This colossal entity is a mass of writhing black tentacles, capable of absorbing organic matter to increase its size and strength. The visual horror of Ouroboros Airy is matched by its combat capabilities, including the ability to launch devastating attacks from a distance and spawn smaller, aggressive entities to challenge the players further. This creature was created when the Ouroboros virus rejected the DNA of Excella Gion, mutating her body instead of making her a super human. Albert Wesker seemed to be fully aware that this would be the result of her exposure to the virus, as not only did he abandon her on the deck of her tanker after injection, but he also left her in the vicinity of a large pile of dead Magini, which Eri consumed to grow to its monstrous size. Click this video here to find out the disturbing lore of every Resident Evil 6 enemy. Thank you for watching.